ha, ha. I got the year wrong. I just woke up. <laughs> it's really 2021. Hello, hello, hello. Problem 110. Today is May 15, 2020. Uh, for sure, I'm not going to post it today, but I very often record my problems and my solutions many days before I post them. So maybe I'll post this sometime around May 20 or a little later. But that's all irrelevant. So here comes the problem. There is a satellite which has a mass of 375 kilogram, which is in an elliptical orbit around the Earth. This is the Earth. This is the elliptical orbit. This is perigee. When the satellite is closest to the center of the Earth, this is apogee. When the satellite is farthest away from the Earth. The distance from the center of the Earth to the satellite at perigee is four times the radius of the Earth and the speed at that moment is 5.00, you can add two more zeros kilometers per second. This is the mass of the Earth, I would like you to use that. This is the gravitational constant which I would like you to use. This is the radius of the Earth. And so four times the radius of the Earth is than this. This is in meters, meters, SI units, kilograms. The question now is, what is the orbital period of that satellite? How long does it take? the satellite to make one complete rotation. We call that the orbital period and I will give it the lecture capital T. T as in Tom. I will not call it P as in Peter because that's confusing with this P. So what is the orbital period capital T and I want it in days with four digit accuracy. All right, high school problem. Nevertheless, some of you uh, may find it a little bit difficult, but surely, surely this is a high school problem. All right, have a nice day and take care and we'll be friends. If you can do this problem, if you can't, makes no difference to me, we'll be friends. That is the strongest conservation law in physics. Keep that in mind.